An Arc 2 exclusive, or is it? Canoe missions to get easier. And Gen 2 mod maps are coming. You alright kids, it's Ross Clark and welcome to your regular art community news. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share it around and let's get into it. So, as you can see behind me, we've got a screenshot that apparently is an in-game screenshot of Arc 2. Oh no. Now I do need to stress this comes from an unknown source that doesn't want to be named. So one, I can't reveal where this has come from, which two means I can't prove any legitimacy behind this photo. But so I'm told this is from a source that leaked this screenshot that was released in January from the same people. So you do need to take this with a pinch of salt. But if we overlook all that for now, this is our first glimpse at Arc 2 in game. We can see there's certainly some improvements from a lighting perspective, potentially using that Unreal Engine to create these lighting effects and improved resolution all round. The focal point of course of this screenshot is the character we can see mid-center, seemingly dressed within the same attire that we've seen in the Arc 2 trailer and certainly looking somewhat similar to Arc 1 characters. However, there does seem to be improvement in the resolution and shape of the body. Possibly, it's very hard to distinguish anything here really. I could just be being trolled without a doubt this could be a photo from any game out there in the wild. But if it is, there you go, Arc 2 in the flesh, in game. Our source reports there's going to be a step height on dinos that should be considerably better or higher, which I guess somewhat draws some resemblance with the video we did last week where of course we talked about the devs talking about mobility within the game. You can apparently climb small walls without needing a climbing pick or similar, so I'm guessing something similar to GTA, which we certainly need. It makes sense that we should be able to climb those places we can just about reach, and will certainly make exploring caves a more in-depth experience. Think like Tomb Raider, just having the ability to shimmy across ledges will certainly change caves to be a different type of gameplay. In fact, the more I think about it, the ability to climb, shimmy, will be a huge difference in the game. Think about everything you've done ever in Arc 1. Every time you've traversed land, raided a base, imagine the possibilities if you had the ability to climb and shimmy. I think there's some massive opportunities there and I do hope that is going to be a feature. And sadly, that's it. That's all we've got to go on so far. And again, again, I must stress, this could be fake news. It could be. I've got nothing to back it up to say this is definite news. But you know what? Why not? I do ARC news. I report news. This seems like a worthy news story and at least engages what you want in ARC 2. Already now, with that possibility of climbing, grappling and shimmying, is something I would really, really love to see. And what do you think? What do you want in Arc 2 in terms of mobility? Drop a comment below, let me know. But let's move on to some actual factual news we can report on. Kuda Cause, I spoke to him a few times on Twitter, the web and video production lead of Studio Wildcard, who of course make Arc Survival Evolved, put out a tweet referencing their own Arc art director, Alex was talking about his work on The Mummy which certainly got me intrigued to say the least. Corridor Crew, if you've not seen them before, I highly rate them. If you're in video editing or anything like that, they're definitely worth watching. A great set of content creators that will certainly teach you a lot. Anyway, they was interviewing Alex who worked heavily on the Mummy films. And that's the important thing that I wanted to talk about here. We've not now just got great actors within the ARC universe. We've now got some of the greatest minds in film. To have someone such as Alex on the team with such a prestigious background can only spell good things for Arc 2, can only make it a bigger, greater game than it's ever going to be. And that's really it. I just wanted to showcase the powerful talent that's going into this sequel. And certainly, definitely go watch this interview. Sadly, he doesn't talk about Arc at all, but it's worth checking out for the creative inspiration focus that's going to be put into Arc 2 by this man. I'll leave a link in the description. So I reported last week that the dev kit for Gen Part 2 is now out, whereby of course you can use all the assets with the new map to create whatever you want. And I even said within that video, I hope we get to see some Gen 2 mod maps. Well, it's happening already. Alex or Codigo Alex dropped a tweet yesterday linking to a certain video, a trailer, which I certainly had to go check out. And I don't want to spoil it for you here. You've got to watch this with the sound on. This is something phenomenal to say the least. To say this is just an intro to a map, a mod map, is already getting me quite hyped. And I'm really, really interested to see where this is going to go, what this is going to take us to, what kind of mod map is this going to be, incorporating essentially a new planet 
with the mud map apparently being called Titan. There it is right there, the planet Titan, which we're now flying to. Ah, oh, I love it. Every part of the cinematic looks fantastic, so go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. And I'm really, really keen to see more of this, Alex. So as soon as you've got something playable, please get in touch. I am looking forward to playing a new version of Gen 2, seeing how the assets can work within a mod map. And Alex is going as far as incorporating missions as well into this mod map. Can't wait to see more of this. Of course, it's a canoe mission, and you all love canoe missions, don't you? That was a joke. I know you don't. I don't. A lot of people don't. The alpha version of Team Down River Run is one of the hardest by far missions out there. I see so many people complaining that this is tight as a drum to get through. Well, rejoice. It's about to get easier. Dolly, the senior product manager, in response to a few complaints, did mention I think it could perhaps be given a touch more leeway on the timer to account for server performance. So it's not a confirmed definite change, but it seems very likely they're going to reduce the requirements in that mission in the future. When exactly, we don't know, but at least it offers a glimmer at improving this very, very tough mission. And fingers crossed that soon because I'm not looking forward to the missions. I'm going to be doing them all very, very soon too. Thanks all for tuning in. Did you enjoy this? Comment below. Let me know. What do you think of the Art 2 reveals? Legit? Is it? And if it is, oh my word, what do you think about the climbing thing? Shimmying, shimmying, shim shim away. <laughs> Canoe missions rejoice. I know a lot of you have been complaining about that. Are you looking forward to an improved, easier way to complete this very, very tough mission? My name's Ross Clark. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, yeah. peace out.